probably the first piece of career advice my father ever gave me when I was small was when you get a job somewhere, learn everything you can about that job. When you've learned everything, quit, go find another job and learn everything you can about that job. And my father never said why. I mean, he never said, eventually one day you'll know enough where you can open up your own business or you'll know, you'll, you'll know enough to this or that. His, his, what he liked was just learning. Uh, he enjoyed, my father was a mechanic. He worked on all sorts of engines and he did so because he found them interesting. He found physical systems you could put your hands on very interesting. And so he kept, um, he kept learning his whole life as he made his career. And that is what really stuck with me. That sort of fits my personality to always keep learning. And I would add to that, never assume that you know everything about any topic. There's always something more to learn about anything. After that, I would say never assume that all the answers that you know are always correct for every situation. I've seen people, especially salesmen, who will have, you know, a pat set of answers and they try to fit those answers to every problem they come across. It's like, uh, it's like the saying, if your only tool is a hammer, every problem will look like a nail. So that's the same thing. If you, if you only have a certain set of answers and you're never flexible on them and you never learn, you never grow, you never accept those answers could change in a different context, then you're like a person running around with a hammer trying to fix every problem as if it was a nail. So I always try to say, okay, now here's things that I, I learned a while ago but are those things still true? And that's part of when people say, I'm supposed to think out of the box. My manager told me I need to think out of the box. Well, what does that mean? That's one way of doing it. Consider what you know is probably not correct for the situation. Um, another way to think out of the box is uh, try to look at a situation from other people's point of view, especially if those other people are your opponents or your adversaries. In sock work on a blue team, your job is to keep the adversaries from getting into your stuff. And one of the important ways you do that is by understanding how your adversaries, you know, the red team, how do they think? How do they view the network? What are they going to do to try to get into your network? You know, are they going to, you know, do something crazy? Are they going to maybe call me up on the phone and try to trick me into giving them my password? You know, what are they going to do? How would, you know, if I were breaking into a network, what would I do? So thinking like your opponent is really a necessary part of not just cybersecurity, but also getting along in business. You, you really have to think about things from other people's point of view, and it will enable you to act towards people with more understanding, with more kindness. If you, if you have an idea of where other people are coming from, what they're going through, um, you'll have the bigger picture. And that's really what I'm always trying to get is that what is the big, I don't understand what's going on here. There must be a better perspective from the bigger picture. And there's always a bigger picture. There's multiple bigger pictures. So you don't understand what's going on. Try and step back from the situation and see more than you're seeing now. If you're not growing in your job and you have no hope to grow, then you need to move on. That circles around to what my father was saying about learn everything you can about a job and then move on. I think maybe he was he he may have been uh, lamenting or ruminating about times when he stayed in a job too long. You get to a job and you're not growing and you just sort of go to the job every day doing your little tasks and you don't re you know pretty soon years go by and you say wow the only thing I've really collected here is a paycheck I haven't really grown as a professional or as a person. So always be aware of, am I growing? Am I learning? Am I progressing? And, you know, and if the answer is no, figure out, well, how do I do that? And it could mean moving laterally in your job. It could mean moving, um, it could be moving on to another situation in another company somewhere. Just always keep that in mind that that's always an option.